Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. And we won't all be coming back. Who else volunteered? Cotter and Finn offered their sword. And so did Brit. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. You don't want a man like Brit helping you. He's a murderer. Wouldn't be the first at Castle Black. Where I'm going, I need a man who knows how to kill. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. The mission can't fail. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. If Shard you make me Prestes. promise. We leave tomorrow, first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? And make sure they're ready. Doff! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises, have you? He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, it's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrow this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, it didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. Always planned on giving it back. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it to Witch's Den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. I didn't think you were that gullible. Oh, it's real, Finn. Aye. It says it's somewhere on the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> How could I? Where'd you hear these rumours? You know, I can't, I can't really remember. I, uh, I hear things around Castle Black. People talk. Not about the North Grove they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. It doesn't matter. It, it was nothing. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know it's crazy. I, 
I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so I passed myself off as a local and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... We still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. And I'd understand if you were angry. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking. I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you. Keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. I don't want to desert my brothers because I promised them. I made a vow. But at the same time, if Cotter can pretend that he kidnapped me, then when they find me, it won't look like I deserted. I might just get away with this. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. Yeah. <sighs> You all right? <clears throat> Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say, death by sword was a sweet kiss, but fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher, I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I've been fighting side by side with Beska for four years. She has saved my life more times than I care to admit. I owe her. Thank you for being honest. But she's not family. That's <sighs> not what matters to me. My family... Look, Get rid of me. I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. Well, come on, Malcolm. Why are you making this such a big thing? We're defined by the choices we make, Asher. One day, we'll understand that. Asher, Asher will remember. Asher, I know where Croft is. This What's... Croft. How well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Master fucking Forrester, son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. Great friends indeed. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learned. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. 
So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no! My tongue for the Be ladies. reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha. Hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a price Stop to be Let him go! Enough! No more fucking about! Fuck you, Croft! Have it your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden. The Khaleesi's best wine. I like it. A friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We? You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. He's Asher's family. That I would not have guessed. Your sword was always the quickest, Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. I've got wine. Women. I've got my own tent. And it never fucking snows. Did this Khaleesi make you a house cat, Croft? Curled up at her feet. Since when do you turn down an adventure? Since the second son swore to Daenerys bloody Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet, Asher. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you've just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world. Impossible. Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. You'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Bet I will. Khaleesi, now is the time to set sail for Westeros. On the way to King's Landing, let's stop by my family's home. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. He's, like he's holding thing. something back. Can't put my finger on him. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'd want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. 
And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. This one's still good. Yeah. Need to light this torch. Yeah. Need to light this torch. This one too. That's iron wood for sure. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. Nope. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. So, wonder who's riding it. It's gonna be the White Hill fuck. Can I just shove him off? Pretend it was the wind. mile walk and you're still in my way I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's but this is even better Jon Snow can't hold your hand now I don't have any time for you anymore Bren I hate you you hate me now let's move on right Gary the merciful sparing the lives of everyone who does him wrong I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If we're doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. It seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. Her crying out, Garrod, Garrod! You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt! <laughs> oh, come on now! Too bad your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Finally getting the hang of it, Tuttle. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? Let's see if you scream like your sister. <laughs> You got lucky, pig farmer. You didn't kill my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. <sighs> Whoa!
he's likely to be executed for that. But no, um... I was looking for the ironwood shield. But I guess my only option is the sword. Just fuck off, I don't want to kill you. I'm gonna fall off the wall. Finish it. No. Go on. In this. We're done here. <clears throat> Put his jacket back on him so it doesn't freeze. Finn! 